Hey Vikes, I'm Allie and you're watching SVT. Snowball is this Saturday from 7.30 to 10.30. Make sure you bring $5 and a student ID to get in. Speaking of Snowball, let's learn more about the candidates. I can bend my finger like in a weird way, so like I can do that, and then I can do that. I can juggle. Run away, because <laughs> I did it. Uh, yeah, what about you? I don't know. Probably either try to drive or try to play Fortnite. Try <laughs> five? Yeah. I'd grab all like the food on the top shelf that was really bad for me and eat it. I'd probably drive. Like I just like driving my little like Barbie car when I was little, so now I could drive like a real car. If it was like my five-year-old personality, I'd be running around barefoot, like playing in the mud. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it says your five-year-old self, so that's your personality. So you'd right? play in the mud. That's what I did when I was five. What'd you do when you were five? Drive? Watch Power Rangers naked. <laughs> <laughs> Drive to Walmart, buy a Mountain Dew, because what's better than that? That I ran somebody over and killed them. <laughs> I would probably be guilty for killing someone in road rage, <laughs> because I do have really bad road rage. I think mine would just be for being pretty. Obviously my friends would think I embezzled uh, at least a minimum of 12 million dollars from a business, because what else would I do with my time? probably like accidentally steal something because that actually like happened one time but I went back and like took it back so it's okay. Beef. No. 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 I, I, why is this a question? Yes. A hot dog is definitely a sandwich. Alright, think about this. You go to Subway, you find yourself looking for a tasty little 12 foot or 12 inch sandwich. You <laughs> look at it. They cut it just barely right here. It's still connected. You still consider that a sandwich. <laughs> Think of a hot dog. It's still connected. That's a sandwich. They're just like subway sandwiches. Yeah. Because like normal sandwiches, like they don't come together, but they like hot dog do. And sandwich. <laughs> hot dog do. <laughs> hot dog do. <laughs> When I was like eight or so, I, we went to the state fair and I was climbing on one of the tractors and I fell off and I actually cracked open my head and my parents had to give me stitches. When I was little, I was, it was three different times, I was playing in the bathtub and I cracked my chin three different times in the same place. So me and Kobe were boxing and we said no face shots, so we were boxing and the first thing he did was punch me square in my face, so <laughs> I got a bloody nose. Sophomore year, uh, Joe Cromie threw meter stick at my forehead. We were playing catch. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have been doing that. And it went through my hands and hit me right here. Um, when I was younger, I was on the monkey bars and I fell and I broke my nose. Well, when I was in second grade, uh, I was playing soccer and I was about to kick off the ball, but like it like rained the night before until like the ball was really wet. So I went to kick it. My foot slips on top of the ball and I end up falling on my arm and breaking it, so. Um, mine's not as exciting, but I was in the shower and I got shampoo in my eyes. And so, like anyone would do, freak out with closed eyes and fall out of the shower onto your head. We will vote for king and queen during fifth hour tomorrow. SCCLA is hosting a competition to raise money for human trafficking victims. The seminar that brings in the most money gets a prize. The deadline is tomorrow. ACT prep classes start tomorrow. The cost for each class is $10. Check Schoology for more information. The Viking United basketball team will play Washburn Earls United team in between the boys JV and varsity games tonight. Make sure you come out and support. The 8th graders were here for a curriculum fair. Let's go check it out. Every year our 8th graders visit SHS to learn about their elected classrooms for freshman year. We caught up with one of our volunteers to learn more. 
I think that this is beneficial for the eighth graders because I was a tour guide, so I showed them around the school and they get to see like what they want to be in. So like they saw the facts classes and a lot of them like were intrigued by the cooking and then they all love the strength and conditioning room and we can, they can just see like whatever they want to do in high school if something looks cool to them. SVTV is excited to see the eighth graders next year. We hope you all had a good experience. Now over to Josh with the weather after this quick commercial break. Attention! Attention! One night only! Wednesday, February 6th. Live at the Seaman High School Auditorium. Battle of the Band! Live rock and roll! Doors at 6.30, show at 7 p.m. Battle of the Band! Featuring... Femme Fatale! Kevin! Side down. Untamed Mustang. <laughs> Wet gravel. Battle of the Band. Three dollars in advance. Five dollars at the door. We'll sell you the seat, but you won't need it because you'll be on your feet all, all night, night long. long. Battle of the Bands. Boy, do I sure love chili. He sure does love chili. If only there's a place he could get some. Oh wait, there is. This Friday from 4.30 to 6.30, the Band Booster Club is sponsoring a chili feed. And it's only $5. Only $5? Behold the power of the $5 bill. For only $5, you get chili, a cinnamon roll, and a drink. Remember, this Friday, February 1st, from 4.30 to 6.30, right here at Seaman High School. Grab a chili and help support the band. Happy Kansas Day! We've got some Kansas-like weather on the way. Here comes an Arctic blast into tomorrow morning, coldest up near Iowa, Minnesota, and Northern Illinois. There, they're gonna be dealing with wind chills in the negative 30 to negative 60 degree range, and that is very dangerous. Now here in Kansas, not nearly as cold. We're on the fringes of this Arctic air mass, and here's our hourly wind chill forecast. If you can't see these numbers, nine degrees after school today will fall below zero by midnight tonight for a wind chill. And then yeah, polar bear like weather for tomorrow morning. Make sure you bundle up. And if you do so, we shouldn't have too much concern with frostbite with these numbers. Should be fine for over 30 minutes of skin exposure. So we are likely to have school tomorrow the way things are looking right now. Now with this colder weather, the question is, are we gonna get any snow? Well, a few flurries are possible, but overall much of the country gonna be dealing with a very quiet weather pattern. And let's take a look. Your SBTV seven day forecast shows a high of just 15 degrees tomorrow. It will feel colder than that all day. Then a gradual warm up. Thursday, we're already pushing 40. Friday, close to 50. And then check out the weekend again. We're still calling for highs in the mid to upper 50s with a slight rain chance coming up on Sunday. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Now that we know what the snowball candidates look like at school, 
Let's check out what they look like in the mornings. Have a great rest of your day. Hey Vikes, we got up at 5.30 in the morning to go visit the Snowball Candidates for a surprise interview. Let's see how it went. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, can we ask you three questions? Oh, I just had like a nightmare. <laughs> oh. Can we ask you three questions? Yeah, should I get ready? Or like, should I look better than this? Oh, you're fine. How many, uh, we need to ask you, so, on a scale of 1 to 10, how mad are you at us? Well, I mean, I've just screamed <laughs> on camera, so, probably like an 8. Oh. If there are 12 fish, how did half of them drown? They died? <laughs> Good morning. Morning. <laughs> hey. What the heck is going on? Hey, SBC so, needs to ask you some questions. Yeah, how do you feel about us being at your house at five fifty in the morning? What day is it? TV's here to interview you. Yeah, can you have time for me? <laughs> what time is it? It's it's six. six o'clock. Do you need to go to bed? Yes. Yeah, we do. All right. So, how many sides does a circle have? One. <laughs> okay. Um, on a scale of one to ten, <laughs> how mad are you? I mean, not really. How do you think we got in? I have a dog. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Do you mind if SVTV asks you a few questions? Sure. Um, how many sides does a circle have? None. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how mad are you right now? Mm. You were nice when you woke me up. Are there 12 fish? Um, half of them drowned. How did they drown? There's this drowning that you can do when you swallow water. <laughs> it's stuck in your uh, lungs. Probably like that, I guess. <laughs> they still drowned. They don't? It's funny. Come on, I don't know what are you guys doing? doing? Huh? You guys want to get interviewed for SVTV? Sure. <clears throat> so, we need to know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how mad are you guys right now? Bro, oh. it is 7 30. <laughs> Bro, it's about 5 40. Oh, six. six. <laughs> How many sides does this circle have? How many sides? Zero. Two. An inside and an outside. It's no sense. <laughs> Get up, what? Hey, Kobe, uh, if there are 12 fish, how did half of them drown? Huh? If there are 12 fish, how did half of them drown? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's just it. up at 7 in the morning to ask us two <laughs> questions? Yeah. Uh, Good morning. Is it alright if SVTV asks you a few questions? All right, how many sides does a circle have? None. And actually it's two, an inside and an outside. Oh. How do you think we got in? Uh, my mom. <laughs> yeah. And then if there are 12 fish and half of them drowned, how did half of them drown? They don't drown. Very good. All right, sorry for waking you up. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, oh. Joe, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, oh friends. my god. Good morning, oh. dude. We're gonna, how, how's it going? We were gonna interview oh you, but I guess you're already awake. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. What's in your hair? Oh, um, it's just my morning routine. <laughs> Holy cow, this is amazing. Oh god. Well, we've, we've been interviewing all the other candidates, and you're the only one that's actually awake, so <laughs> I have to make sure I'm up morning. Morning for my duty, you know. 
All right, well, bye, Joe. Oh, we'll see you guys. Have a nice morning. Hope you guys enjoyed that pop-up with the snowball candidates. I'm sure they did.